Hi, Love Muffins and Replay Love Muffins watching this video. I did not tell anyone I was doing this, but I wanted to come um, out and talk about this month's theme a little bit more because we're talking about love versus fear. So how is that going for you? What are you noticing? And I really want to invite you to consciously notice how you can choose love more. So on the title of this, I put, um, ask yourself, what would love do? Or ask yourself, what would you want your beloved to do? Those are two awesome questions to be using in your life every day, just to check in and, and see you know, how, what is that relationship I'm having with my soul right now? What is that relationship I'm having with my mind right now? Um, I am really inspired by training our brains right now because um, I just came back from a training called Mind in Meditation in Chicago and it's a Kundalini Yoga training that went specifically into how our mind works. And it's something that I've always been studying. Even when I was in corporate world, I was part of the change management organization, which was all focused on how we help organizations change. And it was a global company. So it's really a big deal to be able to communicate and to structure changes in processes and software and all these things in a way that people will actually do it. So what I got from this weekend was, you know, really a big emphasis on knowing that we can um, train our brains and all of the ways like the quote that I posted yesterday about, you know, how our thoughts and how we're choosing our thoughts and and something else. I don't know if I said actions. Yeah, with each action that our thought. Okay, as soon as I press play on the video, Waffle starts snoring like crazy. Um. Anyway, he's right there. It's not my stomach. It's not... I don't have gas, like, no, it's a dog. Um, anyway, um, really being able to choose our thoughts and work with our mind, develop a relationship with our mind in a way that helps us to make choices that serve our soul. So, um, one quote that I found this morning that I thought was really awesome is that, Human love is for one thing only, to love your soul. Then the infinite world around you will be in love with you. And we know that love attracts love. So this, this practice this month is really to start strengthening your consciousness around how to be in love more, how to choose it more, how to consciously create it for yourself and because I think a lot of times we we can really let the fear jerk us around like it's out of our control and you know really a small percentage of it is um usually like accurate um in terms of you know our nervous systems and and what it is that we've um, collected over time in the ways that our patterns are set. So our patterns become set to like react to life when um, in ways that are trying to protect us, but, but really there's no real true danger. So it's up to us as conscious beings to check in with that and see, you know, am I spiraling out of control just out of habit? 
So when we're doing this practice this month, and I know we're, we're coming to the end of the month, but this is something that you want to continue for forever, is just to start noticing, you know, our habits of fear versus love. And I promise you, when you can start doing this more in service of love and in service of your soul, then you're going to see a different reality in your life. You're going to see more love showing up. You're going to see quality people appearing in your life. You're going to be able to have the relationship that you want. But the relationship starts with relationship between you and your soul, the relationship between you and your mind. And so we'll continue to learn practices around that. If you haven't watched the the video that I posted a couple weeks ago with that crazy red crocheted frog and if you don't know what I'm talking about then you didn't watch it so watch the video that has um, I'm wearing a blue kind of smocked shirt that has flowers on it um, watch that one and let me see if there's any other quotes that I want to share with you um, because this is my manual for my class. It's called The Mind. I got it a long time ago and now we're using it again. Um, but it's really great. Hmm. Okay, here's, here's something. Okay, you have incredible faculties in this human body and brain but without a relationship to your mind what will happen you won't have control of yourself to face your mind then your habits control you and when your habits control you you're a robotic disaster call that conditioning anything you like neuroses, crippled awareness, stereotyped behaviors, whatever your terminology, it is essentially a web of habits that rule the psyche and then rule you. So, um, and he talks about, this is, this is Yogi Bhajan talking, he talks about how your mind has the capacity to act like a recorder. So, for, um, for any of you who are wondering, okay, well, how can I change this? You know, first of all, we talked about the awareness of it, being awareness of it, knowing that you have choice that you can choose. And then, you know, certainly in our one-on-one -on -one time, we can, we can focus on doing a RIM session, doing a Kundalini Yoga meditation or practice to help you um shift at a deeper level i can't believe how loud waffle is right now it's so annoying okay so anyway i'm not going to react to that i'm just going to be like okay it's sound therapy that we all apparently need right now and so keeping all of this in mind all of this that we are working to choose love over fear just noticing um what you might want to bring to friday's campfire and if you're going to be watching the recording do not freak out it's totally fine you're going to have the same level of experience if you watch the recorded ritual that we do but thinking about what are those things that are in the way um maybe it's maybe it's triggers um maybe you don't even know and that's okay just knowing that you know the campfire is going to be an opportunity to affirm and strengthen and claim more of your ability to be in alignment bring your whole self in alignment with your soul so that means bringing your ability to choose and and um, support yourself so that you're not reacting out of fear you're not just defaulting into old stories and habits old narratives that that are from the past that you can witness it without reacting to it and that's that's so doable over time and it takes practice so i look forward to seeing you please comment below as to what it is that um inspired you or 
that you want to create for yourself, I really encourage you to use your words. We're going to do a whole month on words, but really using your words to be a powerful magic wand for what you're wanting to create. So in affirming language saying, you know, I am choosing to let go of fear. I'm choosing to let go of the story of, you know, my last relationship that made me feel abandoned. I'm choosing to um, see more love in the world. And as I say this, I'm seeing it right now and continue to um, affirm that. Hello, we're just wrapping up. So go back to the beginning. Um, just affirming all that you want in, in your words below because I noticed that it's easy to want to write about, to um, talk about all the ways that we're feeling the struggle, even using the word struggle, all the ways that we're struggling, where it's hard, where it feels like work. What can you um, support yourself in affirming right now that affirms you choosing love? And that's why I love the questions above. You know, what would love do? What would you like your beloved to do? So when that question is really about, okay, how in this moment, if you're you're feeling the fear or you're noticing that you're you're reacting, like how would you want your beloved to be with you in that moment? To support you, to hear you, to nurture you, and do that for yourself. That all is coming from you. And here's another little secret. Even when you're in relationship with another person, like the most ideal person, you are still the one that's creating that, that sensation, that essence of being supported within you. That other person isn't doing it. It's your, your perception and your relationship to it and how you're responding because you're seeing it as that other person. But the the one who is creating that sense of peace and comfort is you. So know that, you know, you're there doing that and it's up to you to start doing that now so that you can call in the person that can even do that with you. So, so yay, thanks for being here and we will talk really soon. See you on Friday um, or another time. Bye.